So these were Sir Andre's guardsmen. Some animal already gnawed on them. That was no animal. This whole forest is a gigantic trap. We should look for another way. No, we'll take this way. She'll never expect us to do this. <laughs> oh, really? I think it's exactly what she will expect. We should look for a way around. Damn it, people are dying. I'm not running away. We're going in there now. As you say, but you are going to get us killed. Again. on the cold blood the vampires leave behind.
blood box made sure that nobody gets too close to her dad. Ah, strangers in the night. By the looks of you, I'd say I'll have to kill you next. We're not looking for trouble. We're here to help. Speak only for yourself. Very well. I'll wait and hear what you have to say before I do my duty and slit your throats. We come from the town. All your men seem to be dead or dying. This vampire witch has been haunting us for months, killing my people one by one. We had to try, but none of my men came back. But here's an idea. You vampire creed get down there and drive that vampire witch out of her den. In return, I'll spare your lives and forget that I ever saw you pass. Most generous of you. Don't worry. We'll go in there and chase her right into your arms. Then we'll see what kind of fighter you are. You'll know soon enough. We need to go back and pass through the arch. So I'm back to hunting vampires. Well, things could be worse. <gasps> Huh? <laughs> 
Good evening, my guests. Is that you, Jeremy? Our Bane? The one who killed a thousand of us? What a surprise to see you on the other side. I'm on no one's side, vampire witch. Not anymore. Bloodfox, leave these villagers alone, and we shall have no dispute. Who would trust the two of you? A vampiress slaying her own kin, and a human spilling crusader blood? I'll do as I please. I will have my fun with the villagers until they have all become werewolf prey. I am a free spirit, not a vampire bred to fight, like you, Eliza. Bad luck. But it seems as if both of you have to die now. You little bastards! You'll never beat me! After her! Where's Sir Andre gone? Look, is that an arrow made of body parts? Indeed, it's pointing left.
Andre! We need to close the gates and trap Blood Fox inside. I hope he'll keep her busy long enough. He's human. He will fail. Watch out! It's time to bring this to an end. Use the grenades from my backpack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Finally, after all those months, I owe you my life, even though you're from the other side. We need to see your town. See the town? Seeing is done with the eyes. Always remember that. Lay a hand on my people and I swear to God it'll be the last thing you'll ever do. Don't worry. What becomes of her? The same thing that will become of any vampire, sooner or later. We'll take her with us and burn her at the stake. Fire. The one certain death. I guess this is the first time in the history of God's Keep that vampires are allowed to enter. Boy, do I hope I won't regret this. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Did you think you could trick me forever? Now you'll get what you deserve, filthy vampire bitch. Vampires! Who let you in here? Calm down, old friend. We both know the harm you can do. What devilish forces made you come out of the pit again? What flows through your veins, monster? We killed you, and we were right doing so. What are you doing here? Where's our squad? This cannot end well. You must leave the town. You are not human anymore. And I cannot help you. Don't take the priest too serious, my friend. He needs to make up his mind. That is all. You should pay him a visit. He'll be standing as guard at the upper gate. Why not pay him another visit? The watchman of a dead town. That's what I am. Tell me about the town. Well, ever since the moon broke and this priest Bartholomew started talking about a new deluge, most of the people fled into the higher mountains, even some of my guards. Would you believe it? Fools, they're running right into the arms of that band of vampires that's marching to the top of the mountain. Tell me about yourself. My task is to protect the people of God's Keep. Well, the few that didn't run away yet. Most of my men died in the God's Keep cleft 
when we were trying to hunt down Blood Fox. There isn't a single archer left. Cursed vampires. Cursed empty town. You want to know who I'm doing this for? For Sonya and no one else. See you. Never seen you before. And I must say, you look disturbing. Are you well, my friends? We're exhausted, but we're fine. Are you sure? You look like... Have you been bitten? Who left you into the town anyway? I'm on a mission from Rome. She's my prisoner, enslaved now. Fear not. Oh, I see. That is... good. I'm sorry. I just thought you... well, never mind. Please excuse my curiosity, but it kind of comes with the job. So, how can I be of assistance? Tell us about the town. Well, what can I say? Most people fled to the cities when the moon broke and the creatures appeared. Few stayed behind, some to serve the few travelers, some to sell things to them. And now that even Sir Andre's guardsmen were slain, it's going to become very lonely up here and dangerous. We'd like something to drink. We don't. We don't? We do. It uh, will not be good for your condition. My slave master. Condition? Uh, sensitive stomach. Oh. You're a real cutie, girl. Have anything planned for tonight? Wow, you're getting straight to the point. I'm promised to the sheriff, I'm afraid. We have to go. Damn, you look creepy. Fine, Jeremy. Now tell me why you are here. I'm hunting the army that stole the blood seal, and I need your help. My son, you know the rules. Vampires are our fiercest enemies, and now you are one of them. If only I knew that you're really still on our side, then I'd do all in my power to help you. How can I regain your trust? If you'd prove that you are still an enemy to the vampires, maybe then I would believe that you are still the man I knew, no matter what happened to you. Listen, up in the mountains, there is an old chapel. Inside, there is an ancient relic of light. It is a horrible weapon against vampires. The horde of vampires might have already found and taken it. But if you'd bring me that relic, I could believe that you are still on our side. No true vampire would ever hand such a devastating weapon out to someone of the church. If you want my trust, then go and bring me the relic of light. I will reward you with a ring to strengthen your human side. Sir Andre will show you the way. He should be somewhere near the marketplace. It's locked. Would you like to trade? Let us help.
Ah, the friendly vampires again. Well, at least none's been bitten so far. Tell me about the town. Well, ever since the moon broke and this priest Bartholomew started talking about a new deluge, most of the people fled into the higher mountains, even some of my guards, would you believe it? Fools, they're running right into the arms of that band of vampires that's marching to the top of the mountain. Tell me about yourself. My task is to protect the people of God's Keep. Well, the few that didn't run away yet. Most of my men died in the God's Keep cleft when we were trying to hunt down Blood Fox. There isn't a single archer left. Cursed vampires. Cursed empty town. You want to know who I'm doing this for? For Sonya and no one else. Maybe I can help you out here. Well, indeed, there is one thing. You seem to be skilled with that crossbow. That might come in handy. See, all my crossbowmen were killed in the God's Keep cleft. There are four remote torches that keep the creatures of the night at bay. They're positioned far out and can only be lit by a fire arrow. You'd do me a great favor if you'd take that crossbow and light the torches. It'll keep the few that remain in this forsaken outpost safe. I will help you. Thanks a lot. The four remote torches are positioned far out and can only be lit by a fire arrow. Show us the path into the mountains. Wanna leave? Sorry that you don't see me bursting into tears. Follow me. The door's open, now be gone. And I wouldn't be sad if I didn't ever see you again.